back to Cold Waters. This is David Steele, or Captain Numpty, and here's me boat, or at least close enough. Today we are in the USS Narwhal, the SSN 671, and my primary mission here is to intercept a submarine carrying Spetsnaz commandos. Um, I've just encountered a submarine contact. I'm not entirely sure what this is, so we're going to just go ahead and jump in. 15,000 yards, um, let's check, uh, yeah, I think those are all fine. Let's go ahead and turn on the sonar. Why is it I start creating a video and I start to yawn? I've already seen some action on this, this, uh, this cruise, we've used nine decoys. That's quite a lot of action actually. Let's go ahead and all that, all the hands I'm man our new stations. contact bearing. Zero, seven, two, designated Sierra, one. Let's go, let's go here, okay. Right, Sierra one, so, sonar contact one, what are you? No, I think you're a submarine of some kind, we just don't know what kind. So let's see, let's take a look. Looking through the waterfall display here at the bottom right, and I've got is a whiskey. Con sonar Sierra oh. One is classified as submerged submarine. Let's look at a whiskey. What's that on? Right, it has a it has a trout cheek and a stag ear. Uh, neither of those look particularly. Um, yeah. Okay. So it shouldn't be Come that big of a threat. Zero seven two okay. Helm I. And he is just below the, uh, the, the the duct and the layer, so I'm going to go ahead and just drop my uh, my depth, or increase my depth to maybe 300 feet. Make depth Let's three, take a look zero, there. Zero feet, dive by. I only ever get messages when I'm recording, that's not true actually. Um, right, so we're going to turn towards um, the bandit, he's actually dropping his depth as uh, as well. And um, see what happens. We're going to accelerate time on it. In fact, no. I'm going to switch to. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Ultra quiet mode. Then we're going to accelerate time. Traveling a little bit to. Oh, he's coming right at me. Okay. That's. Con, uh, helm, steady course. That's interesting. Con, dive at three, zero, zero feet, dive by. Getting a particularly good return on yet, but maybe he's 14,000. Okay, so this is 14,000 yards away. It's turning away from me it looks like okay he's not picking up a good return for me right now I might better just uh, slip behind him here oh wow look at that okay so um, we've got uh, yeah we've got a reasonable return on him right now he's six and a half thousand yards um, He's not going to hear me at all. I, I kind of feel like turning away and dropping a torpedo at him now and turning away. I think I'll fire a torpedo. Will he hear this? I'm not sure, but I don't think he can actually get away from it. It'd be nowhere close. Top speed is uh, 13 knots yet, so he, I'll fire a torpedo. I've learned a lot from the comments on my videos in the last um, just a couple of weeks. And uh, we'll set to run it Shoot two thirds. I like so. I'm going to go ahead, I'm actually going to turn north, I think, or turn more, yeah, I'm going to head, head north here at this point. Come left to zero, 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 And we'll Helm drop I. down to 400 feet. Make depth four, yep, zero, zero feet, die by. So. Just answering that message from Shim, who must be obeyed. And okay, so he most definitely turned away. Yeah, he, he he did hear that, and I'm not really surprised. I would have expected that. Let's let's face it. Okay. So this position's probably somewhere right about here. We don't hear him, maybe because the torpedo is is in the way. That um, you know, make that torpedo active like so. I nearly guide that, uh, sonar, in that direction. Noise maker bearing zero five eight. Con, fire control, weapon yeah, countermeasure, homing. 
Torpedoes like, nope, don't like that. That's fine. On fire control, weapon acquired. I'll manually divert it round, so. Con, con, dive at four, zero, zero feet, dive by. Let's make it. I guess he did. Let's turn it back on course. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. You can use the num uh, keypads to uh, steer your torpedo. Let's make the sonar active. There we go, pick him up straight away. And uh, let's let's watch this guy wriggling away, trying to escape from a torpedo. Here's the torpedo coming in. Here's, here's me boat in the background. Down. Steady course. He's turning sharp towards me. I would do the same. I'd probably also change my depth at this point and drop a noisemaker round about now. Nothing here. I manually steer the torpedo to its port side. I see it, it turns away and it turns right back at him. Boom boom. Say goodbye, I Noise Noisemaker bearing zero five eight. Took care of that. There'll be a big hole in its flank. Yes there is. Um, it didn't quite split it open, but um, he's a goner for sure, so switch back to the narwhal. And we are going to slink away. I don't think this was um, our primary target then. So, I'll uh, just stay in here a little bit. Let's reload that, that torpedo. Con, torpedo room, tube one, rig ship for ultra quiet. Ultra quiet, we'll stay in here just a little bit. Time, see if there's anything else that we detect. Nothing. So it's possible the other submarine is lurking around here somewhere, so... Con, switch sonar, to active sonar. switching to active search. Anything else that we need to make. We'll give this a few seconds. If there's something else out here, he might just fire upon me. And he may have rocket launch tor torpedoes, and that would not be good. But, um. Let's see if we, uh. Pick anything up. I think it's pretty safe to say that we are alone out here. Okay. Con, sonar. That. Switching the passive Go search. Back to here and see if anything escaped. So there was just the one target, and it was indeed a whiskey class. Great. Well, that was a successful engagement so far. And what do you know? That was my primary target. He didn't have an escort. Okay. Well, I'm, that works for me. Let's play through uh, one more uh, engagement here. Right. Intelligence indicates that numerous enemy diesel electric subs operating in a wolf pack are heading for the North Sea. It is vital that these subs be destroyed before they attack NATO shipping and naval task forces in the area. Forces believed to conclude one or more cruise missile submarines. Okay. Cruise missile submarines are bigger. Um, probably more valuable to the Soviets. They might have better quality escorts, maybe an Alpha class or two. So, what could possibly go wrong? Um, I'm going to actually interdict this so submarine contact here, he's getting away from me. North Sea's to my south, but... Which is where he's, he's turned around. That might not have been the submarine contact. We'll, we'll still get a 10,000 yards, it's going to be super aggressive here. Um, let's see what happens. Con, sonar, new rig ship for ultra quiet. So, contact is bearing 41, which is here. Con, sonar, new contact bearing one, there, one right. five. Four, designated Sierra two. What's this? Is this a submerged or a surface contact? We don't know yet. Don't know if it's a foxtrot. It might be. That does look awful close. So there's, there's other similar. Yeah, let's go. Let's look at Sierra two then. Through the submerged contacts first. That looks like a Tango class. Con sonar Sierra 2 is classified as submerged submarine. We have a layer at 183. Let's go ahead and drop below the layer here. I'm going to manually just um, just control the depth there using the, the, the keyboard. Stick at 5 knots. Drop it down to somewhere like 250 to 300 feet, give or take. Let's take another look back at um, Sierra One. Passing two hundred feet. Let's 
to level up there. Don't think it's a typhoon, which is good. Okay. Passing 300 feet. A little deeper than I wanted to, but hey, that happens sometimes. I'm sure that's what she said too. It may be a Foxtrot class. And I, I could surface and pop the radar, and if it's a warship, I'll certainly find out. But I think right now, this Tango class is um, going to be my, my right primary to contact. One, oh, seven, five, I can service it, as you might say. And I think I can deal with it without really giving away my position. So 11 knots. Um, is he running from me? Did he detect me? 16 knots. He's accelerating. He's soon he's not going to be able to hear me. I'm going to drop a torpedo in his, uh, uh, his shorts. Two, one. Aye, sir. Contact went to minus 50 decibels, active and passive, so torpedo on the way. I'm going to turn away and head uh, northeast. Come left to zero, four, uh, eight, helm, I. I want to change my depth. No, I really want to change, change when this torpedo goes active. Let's maybe, I can, zoom in a little bit. Let's go there. I, I think he picked me up. Which I'm surprised, but uh, I think he picked me up because he is running. He's running away, but he's not quicker than a 54 knot torpedo. And he's probably quite noisy right now. He's not cavitating at least. But that's my. There's my boat, and that's the torpedo. And he's. Um, let's see, he's diving, he's changing his depth. Yeah, he's actually gone. Got a bit deeper. We'll still pick him up with the torpedo. Still, uh, he's got windows in his. Uh, I think windows? No, probably not. By the way, um, I'm going to plaster hit it against the bottom of the ocean in a little bit. Um, I'm still 3,000 yards away from, from him. My torpedo is still 3,000 yards away. Let's keep the thing rolling. He's only doing 13 knots. I don't think he is running away from me. He should be, but he's not. Yep, so it's 3,000 yards away. Yeah, it's closing. He's slowing down. Okay, that's his bad because I'm going to have the torpedo active. Weapon acquired. So, yep, there we go. He has dropped his speed to five knots now. This torpedo is rapidly overhauling. I am going to increase um, my speed to ten knots. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Did he get a return then? Con, fire control. What? I don't think so. Con, maneuvering. Making turns for one. So, and I increased my speed to 10 knots. I'm just going to get out of his, his, his way. I want to be aware of his, his um, torpedo sensor cone. Con, this torpedo L, is going to end up course. somewhere, maybe around about here. And I really Con, therefore, sonar, noise maker bearing one, six, nine. In not, that, not that crazy amount of time. Well, at least out of his sensor cone. Let's, um, let's drop the depth a little bit. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Torpedo should be fun in this turns active sonar on as well, just because. Let's see what the torpedo can see. I'm guessing that Backing is. Uh, feet. Oh, there he is, okay. Con sonar Great. lost contact. Sierra two. Took last care bearing of him. one Let's, seven. Uh, increase to flying. Make turns for two five. I'm gonna turn slightly to starboard. I'm actually gonna turn almost directly east to get out of the, this this uh, torpedo right to sensor cone. Zero, so nine but yeah, zero. Helm I change my angle off by essentially turning running east. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing torpedo zero there. three seven. Contact faded. Con, helm, steady course. Okay, so... Is the torpedo, um... 
slipping to behind me, which is good. I think it's just just gone active. Yes, it has. So there's a chance it's going to de detect me here. I think it's. Yeah, I don't think it's going to pick me up. What, what's our range? Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. 3,000 yards. Bring ships for ultra quiet. Right. Ultra quiet, eh? And then we'll see if we can pick up Sierra One. Yeah, Con. Thing, drift. Con, maneuvering, making okay. turns for Picked five up. So, knots. you have any idea what this is yet? Let's turn towards it. Come left to zero, three, four, helm I. Keep going through my waterfall sensor so we can pick up what this this might be. Maybe another time submarine. It would make sense if it if it were. I think it is. Or is it one of those? Andy Zan. Doesn't quite line up though, look. This these these two here, the, the two middle ones don't quite line up. Uh, lines up. That was a trawler. Con sonar. Sierra one is classified as merchant. Accelerate time a little bit. Did we pick anything else up? I don't Con, think so. Con helm. Steady course. That's all. Let's go active on my sonar. Con sonar, switching to active search. Pretty certain that there's nothing out here. I also managed to, to steer to port slightly, but that's okay. Pretty certain there's nothing out here and nothing fired upon Con me. Con sonar, so switching to passive search. Once this torpedo has gone inactive, which is taking its time, we'll uh, we'll be able to go out of combat. Okay, so. Did we do just one target, just a tango? Great. That is two for two. So two torpedoes, two kills, and that's it. And it's Andy Submarine Warfare is on patrol. I don't really feel like tackling him. He's probably um some nasties in there. Ask me how I know. Just drop here. So um I'd expect the enemy submarine to sort of Circle the North Cape area here and uh, drop down near the coast. And we should pick it up as it goes through the Sosa's barrier here. I think so far. Oh. Let's just move to intercept. It's going to be shallower water. But I think that'll be okay. Pretty certain that this is indeed um, my target. So um, what am I going to expect? Well, multiple, uh, multiple submarines, I, I think. See what we've got. Con sonar new contact bearing zero eight six designated Sierra one. Just one so far. It's great. It's put me at um, periscope Come right to as well. Zero nine nine helm I. Con okay, sonar then. Sierra one is classified as submerged submarine. We've not got much depth to play with. Okay. I'm going to drop my depth to, or increase my depth to 200 feet. Must be below the layer. Make depth to so I should zero, get a much better, zero, clearer zero, picture of, of um, this Juliet class. Now, what are the specifications of a Juliet SSG? Semi noisy, 18 knots. A shark fin and shark teeth. So. Not that big a threat, I don't think. Come right to I mean, one. Not zero, something to be two, ignored, no, but I... not that big a threat. Uh, I'm going to increase my speed. Oh, let's check. Apparently, I'm increasing my speed to, to 10 knots. Yes, I will. But it's probably Make not. Make turns for one, zero, We've got such a great fix on it already. On. It's probably got escorts. Con maneuvering, making turns for one. I can zero, engage from this not. this range. I think engaging Con, from this range helm, is a pretty course. good chance I'm gonna be able to reach it with my torpedoes, but at the same time, it's also a good chance that it'll now get detected Con, by something else. Two, zero, zero, so, dive by. Let's 
Let's see how this thing plays out, I think. I'm going to slowly overhaul this. It's a big time. Many decide to turn towards me. And where are its escorts? It's heading for deeper water, I think. I say it. Is a boat a he or a she? Um, the crew is in the 80s would have been a he, for sure. So it, it's interesting what what do I what what gender do I call this? And a Juliet is a female name, so maybe I call it a she. Turning towards me, okay. Still not a chance of hearing me. I'm gonna just grab turn a little bit south for now. It's getting more and more chance of it hearing me. So You try and lay in a, an interception course so that I can close the distance. Nothing wrong with being 8,000 yards away, and the, the closer I get, the more chance he has of hearing me. But that said, the easier it is for my torpedoes to reach the target, and if there's nothing else around me, maybe this isn't my primary target after all. 7,000 yards. It may turn more towards the east again, but I think it's it, it's trying to transit south. Six coming out on six thousand yards. It's an old-fashioned looking boat, and there's there's my boat. here on the side. I wonder what those are for. Interesting. Interesting d design. It looks antiquated, but it, if it works, it, it, it works. We're going to be able to drop in behind this, um, this submarine. His active sound is going to get a pretty good return on me. And is he slowing down? I'm just imagining it. Okay, passive's creeping up. So, let's turn off uh, accelerate time. So, right now we're 3,000 yards. Um, he's not going to hear me passive. I'm going to turn uh, pretty much east. Yeah, let's, let's turn east. Come left to zero, nine, zero, helm I. Did I fire a torpedo? Or did I reload it? Are oh, you numpty? I re okay, I must have tapped it out. Let's just increase the sound I'm making, so I might as well just go ahead and fire. Um, he's he, he's going to hear this. Let's just fire it and, and turn it south. Gone fire control. We've lost the wire. Dang it. Should know better. I'm doing 10 knots. Okay, so it's Con fine. Sonar, right? launch yep. transient from Sierra 1. Con sonar, launch transient from okay. Sierra 1. Uh, I'm going to turn northeast. Come left to zero. Four, zero. Helm I. What, what vector does this guy take? Con, torpedo room, I'm two point ready. Close, I think. Okay, we want to steer this thing here. Yep. Yeah. Gonna make it active. Um, I'm gonna crank on my, my speed. Con, fire control, make weapon acquired. Crank on, 25 knots. Make turns for. What's my Con depth? Sonar. We Not are much, navigating. feet. Okay, and we're calibrating yet. Yeah, we, we figured we need to get out of dodge here. Oh, those guys are awful close. I mean, all of us are Con, close. Helm, steady course. Okay, I'm going to turn back towards him now. As soon I'll be outside this, the sensor range of this torpedo. Con, fire control, we've lost yeah, the wire. Lost the wire. That's completely fine. Con, torpedo there room. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Ultra quiet. Con, sonar, lost contact. There's something else out here. Sierra, got one, this, last got bearing, the enemy one, submarine. five. Zero. Contact breaking up. Straighten up. Okay. I think. Took care of him. Yep, he's sinking. That's completely fine. Well, it's not fine for him, obviously. But these torpedoes are, should miss me, which is good. And I really want to get back in the listing. Is there maneuvering, something else out there? Four, five, nine. Okay, that torpedo's just gone active. I did. I went and hit R to reload that torpedo. Okay, well, I may as well reload it again because 
it's not what I need right now. I don't need two decoys. I may do it later on, but right now I, I, I really don't. Okay, well, so far, that's three for three. Fairly textbook intercepts. I've done surprisingly well. I guess the difficulty level is still pretty uh, pretty low, but I think that's going to wrap up today's video. Uh, the Narwhal uh, lives to fight on again. Um, we've only wasted one torpedo, really, which was moving too quickly when I launched it and dropped the wire. It happens when you're inexperienced, like me. But I hope that you enjoyed this, and if you did, uh, go ahead and leave a like. You can subscribe for more. I'm learning a lot about the game, um, and I've really appreciated a lot of the feedback and comments that I've got. So um, if you've got something to add, I'm absolutely Call welcome. Torpedo room. Thank two, you so two, much ready. for watching, everyone. See you in the next one. Goodbye.